The discovery of the atom's nucleus in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford was one of the most significant scientific discoveries of the early 20th century. It accelerated the pace of research to understand the structure of an atom, in particular how the electrons were organized inside the atom. In the nuclear model, the electrons were freely orbiting around the central nucleus. However, classical physics predicted that orbiting electrons would radiate energy and crash into the nucleus. Something was not yet correct with this model. In 1913, a Danish physicist named Niels Bohr attempted to solve this issue with the idea of stable electron orbits. He arrived at this model after studying the light emitted by excited hydrogen gas, what we call an emission spectrum. Unlike normal light, which consists of a spectrum of all wavelengths, the light emitted from excited hydrogen gas only contained specific wavelengths. Bohr's calculations showed that these wavelengths correspond to the precise amount of energy a hydrogen electron would release when falling from an excited state back to its ground-level energy. As a result of these experiments, he proposed that electrons could only exist at fixed orbits, like planets orbiting the Sun, with electron energy increasing with the increasing radius of the orbit and that these fixed orbits quantized the electron energies into energy levels, meaning that only discrete energies were allowed. Electrons could move between energy levels if they absorbed or emitted energy, but they could never occupy orbits and therefore energies between these fixed orbits. Scientists knew there were still unresolved issues. The Bohr model, like those before it, had been treating electrons as particles, and scientists had begun to realize that electrons also behave as waves. A new model would be needed, but things were about to get strange as they started to unlock the secrets of the quantum mechanical world.